Spin kick sets him down. And now trying to end it. Big ground and pound here. Harris. Back up and fight through a mask of blood right now. Yes, yes. Cover it up. Sarukian yes no? hammering away. He's corner telling Armin he's ready to stop. He's ready to give in. Keep going. Keep pouring on the pressure. And that's exactly what he needs to do. We don't even need to land flush. When the referee is that concerned, there's that amount of blood. And you're in land. That's to do it. Nice work. This guy's a big problem at 155 pounds. He is Armand Sarukian. His win streak continues at the apex. And yes, that's two in a row by knockout. This elbow here started that, that horrifying display of blood. Perfectly placed. Just opened him up immediately. And then from there, that gave him so much confidence. I mean, he controlled him there for the rest of the first round. Round two, took him down and got him here. And then he started pouring up more and more elbows. Controlled the wrist, pounded away with the left hand. You see the head shaking from the impact here. An incredible performance. Very, very dominant against his best opponent yet. He doesn't stay here and they get back to the feet. You see Jeremy trying to lock up a Kimura to sweep. Got to be but careful if you get on guard, though. Yep, Remember, exactly. Matt Hughes, George St. Pierre won back in the day. Now he's got his own Kimura. That's a problem when you lock up like that. Oh, well, there it is. No. Jeremy trying to fight through it. Oh, he's going to push it to the side. He's just going to lift it over the body. Jer oh! oh Started off, went for the low single. As you see here, he completes the take that. Jeremy almost kicked out there. He kind of lost balance, gets on top. Jeremy went for a Kimura. Mataj countered perfectly. Went to go around, get the arm bar. Didn't get it. And then from here, I mean, you've got no choice but to tap. Otherwise, your shoulder is going to get ripped to pieces and you're going to spend the next few days in hospital. So Jeremy did the right thing. And Mataj Gamrot did the right thing as well. That's not easy to do to a man like Jeremy Stephen. Spin kick sets him down. And now trying to end it. Big ground and pound here. Harris. Oh, that's oh, gonna do it. Another one. Shavkan Rahmanov still undefeated. Look at this spinning hook kick. Right on the side of the head. Sends him down, wobbles him. He's still sort of in it. But then look at how straight and accurate these shots just starts raining them down. He eventually finds the chin there. Another one. See you later. Woo! Now they're spinning, look at this, spinning hook, oh, right behind the ear, goes right around the guard, lands perfectly. And Harris knew this. When we talked to him, he knew that these are the things he's got to look out for, but it's it's one thing to recognize it, it's another thing to be able to stop it. Nice Four-fight winning streak entering the octagon for Craig White after his move back down to 170 pounds. Oh, knee to the face really from Neil Magny, and now he goes to work with White covering up. Under a minute to go, first round. Magny's point on the pressure, but Craig White is not out of this. He's still trying to scramble and create space. Magny sensing the moment to finish. Oh, that's Good work. Repeated work Good work. by Neil Magny. And there it is. Top 10 indeed for the welterweight veteran and a winner once again. So as you can see here, uh, Neil Magny managed to turn into the fence with the underhook. He landed the knee because Craig White had left his head very low. And then here, Neil Magny's pouring on the pressure. You can see Craig White is trying to fight out, but he's stuck up against the fence. There's the knee, straight to the nose, took his legs away. Respect to Craig White for trying to scramble out, but he was jammed up against the fence, taking shots. A great stoppage by referee Leon Roberts there. Second one, not so much. That one, you know, wasn't, uh, there was nothing on it. Oh! This could be it. It was off that body shot. It was off that left body shot. And again, the red. He'd been investing in the body all night. Allen returns fire with a knee. Perhaps Curtis. Oh, oh. big elbow. He should get some separation. He, oh, oh, another good. knee. The action wow. man does it again. Chris Curtis. So obviously, a great back and forth affair. Job. 
rips to the body, blocked oh. by the elbow, but it was the right hook on the break. That wobbles him, got him all over the place. Then he kind of clinches. That let Brendan off the hook a little bit. Continue to work the body. Let's take another look. Boom, body, right hook, bang. Stays on his feet, shows a lot of heart, and he's screaming at us right there in front of us. A couple of knees, puts him down. Herb Dean's like, no more, that's it. Look at that, beautiful. He's on the neck. He's on the neck. He's got it. This is it. Got it. That is it. Incredible. Hatofo Vieta showing his respect to his fallen foe, but there will be a celebration thereafter. The way he took the back standing, wrapped up the neck and then fell down. No regard for his own safety because he knew he said, screw that. I've got your neck, buddy, and he's yeah. coming home with me. Yeah, you got no choice to tap in that situation. You got that big gorilla. Watch the way he takes it. Boom. Jumps beautiful. Around. So much skill and agility to do that the way he did. Takes the neck as he does so. Yeah, beautiful work. Yeah, that was March 20th at a catch weight of 150 pounds, and Soriano got right back in the gym. Again, it, it, it'll be on, it'll be on Soriano to recognize that. When Yago switches to his southpaw, man, that shot is eventually coming. There's danger in those positions. Seems like this is the strategy. Oh, no. oh, jump, 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 jump. Got guards. Got guards. That looks pretty tight. He's going to see. Brenner, right there it is. Here goes the shot. He runs it right over. Look, Soriano ended up on top, but Yagos just followed the flow. Let the action continue over to the opposite side. Soriano turns back into him and on a single leg. Look at him immediately jump on his dark choke. Woo! Sit back, sit back. Now, Sean's fighting it, right? He's fighting the hand. But after a while, he lets go of the hand. Once he lets go of the hand, that is him essentially saying, you know what, this is it's done. Right, when that hand, when he lets go, when he stops fighting it, fight's over, and he got put to sleep. What a great job by Christos Chavez.